So now we go on to the next part, which is getting the packages and the package, uh, the patches. So first thing it's going to do is to make a location for all these um, packages to reside. It changes the ownership of this directory so that only the owner can remove them. And that's kind of a bit of a security thing really. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change into that directory. And I'm also going to move that um, version check file here as well, just as a record, just so I've got a copy of it. Probably won't ever need to use that again, but um, if, for example, I was to use this LFS system when I've built it to start building another one, then I've already got a version check, assuming I'm going to build the same version. So next thing we've got to do uh, is get the actual packages. I've got this file here. If you do right click on this, copy the link address, go to the window and type in wget to fetch that file. Okay, so it's got this file wget list and what's in that file is a list of URLs of all of the packages that need to be fetched. So you can see each line is a package and its location on the internet. So this command here will process that file and automatically download each package. So it's going to take a few minutes to download. There's a couple of big packages in there like the kernel and also the um, compiler is quite a big one as well. Um, so it's just worth reiterating while this is downloading, these packages have got no binaries in them at all. They all contain text files and those text files contain code which the compiler will convert into um, binary code which the computer can run. So at the moment these text files are only text files that a programmer can read or you or I could read. And the compiling which is the main process we go through when constructing the Linux from scratch system, it converts that text into code that the processor understands and is able to execute and act upon. And that's why this concept of being able to build your own operating system exists because we're actually compiling stuff from scratch and building the structure in the system um, from scratch rather than normal distributions like the Raspberry Pi one or Debian or um, Ubuntu, you're getting pre-compiled binaries. So the, the distribution developers have compiled them themselves and they just send out those binaries and you just download them on your hard disk and your machine just executes them like that. So it's just downloading the compiler at the moment. Um, if you do have problems with any of these not downloading or when we do the checksums in a short while, um, there is a page, yes, I think it's the next page actually, or packages which um, lists the home page of each package and the download link that's in that wget file. If these links still do not work, either go to the home page and try and download it or you can normally search for the package name with the version number. Um, although be careful where you get it from. Um, if you do download it, do check the MD5 sum to make sure it, it matches. One place I can thoroughly recommend is the Oregon State University website. They've got um, an FTP mirror. Uh, LFS put something like it, that into a search engine and yeah here it is here so this one says it's an FTP uh, although it would probably be an HTTP connection it says FTP and you can see it's public LFS if so if you click on that you can see go to LFS packages and then just find the version that 
you're working on. So we're working on version 10. And you can see there's all these packages here. So they're kept for posterity. So like I say, if you do have difficulty in obtaining one of the packages, this is a good place to get it um, downloaded from. Um, still check it, just make sure it's downloaded correctly. It's a trustworthy site, but you don't know if somebody might hack into it sometime and, um, you know, provide bad files and so on. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's a good place to go. So, how are we doing? So, we're nearly finished. It's on tar at the moment. So, I'll just go back to where we were. So, we're currently running this command here. So it looks like, all right, it's TCL, so it looks like it's being redirected. So it's just waiting for the connections. Yeah, here it goes. Yeah, it's obviously a slow server, this one. Okay, so that's finished. Next thing we'll download is this MD5 sums file. And that's got a list of all the checksums for each file. So I'll just copy the link address, do the same as before, wget to get that file. And then we can run these commands here. So although these are separate commands, they in total make up one complete command. So just paste that all in, make sure the last command has been executed. And you can see there's no message at the bottom saying that there was an inconsistency or file missing or anything. So that's fine. All the packages have been downloaded correctly and they all check the signatures. Um, inside this you can see there's patches here. So these patches are listed here if you need to get them directly. 